What is this principle? So it is the sum of money which is deposited or borrowed which is also known as the capital and it is always denoted by P. Formula to calculate the simple interest is SI is equal to PTR by 100. P is the principal, T is the time period and R is the rate of interest. Whereas the principal remains the same for both the rate of interest and time remains the same. Only thing is the income differs. Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. This is Yashruti Ma'am lecturing in Vidyashram, the temple of excellence, Mysore. In this session, we are going to take up the new chapter, simple interest and compound interest. So let us see the weightage of this chapter. So here in this chapter, under simple interest and compound interest, you will be having one MCQ question, one short answer for two marks, one question under five marks. So overall, three questions for eight marks. So in this session, we are going to discuss about the simple interest and compound interest and problems related to simple interest. So we know that all the dealings are associated with three factors. So mainly the principal, time and rate of interest. So what is this principle? So it is the sum of money which is deposited or borrowed, which is also known as the capital and it is always denoted by P. Then time, sometimes it is denoted by T and sometimes by N. So that time is duration of which the money is lent or borrowed. Next rate of interest is the rate at which the interest is charged on the principal. And amount, amount is basically the principal plus interest. The formula to calculate the simple interest is SI is equal to PTR by 100. P is the principal, T is the time period and R is the rate of interest. The first question is, Sanjay deposits 25,000 at 8% simple interest. What is the amount he will get after 5 years? We know the formula that I is equal to PTR by 100. So here 25,000. So time is 5 and the rate of is 8% which can be written as 8 by 100. So cancelling this we will get the value here 10,000. So now here, what is the amount he will get after 5 years? So amount is always principal plus interest. So which is 25,000 plus 10,000 that is equal to rupees 35,000. Next question. In what time will 4,000 at 3% interest produce the same income as 5,000 in 5 years at 4%? So here the income of 4,000 at 3% is same as the income of 5,000 at 5 years at 4%. That is, if we consider this as I1 and I2, two interest, then they are equal here. So let us use the formula of PTR by 100 here. So for I1, the principal is 4,000. Rate of interest is 3%, but I don't know the value of time. So therefore, I'll write this as 4,000 into T into 3 divided by 100. Now, in the second case, we need to calculate the same income for the interest 5,000 into 5 into 4%. So therefore, 5,000 into 5 into 4%. So evaluating this, we'll get here. 120t and here we'll get now t is equal to 1000 divided by 120 so if you divide this time is approximately 8.33 years next question in how many years will a sum be double of itself at 10% simple interest? So I don't know the sum here. So let the principal be X. So they're telling that the sum will be double itself. So that means the amount I'll get will be equal to 2X. So now interest can be calculated as amount minus principal. So therefore 2X minus X is equal to X. We know the formula that I is equal to PTR by 100. So interest is x, principal is x, so time is unknown, rate of interest is 10 by 100. So 
x, x cancels here. So we have 1 is equal to t by 10. So therefore, t is equal to 10 years. So after 10 years, the amount invested or borrowed will be doubled. Next question. Sandhya invested a certain amount in a bank. When the rate of interest changed from 10% to 12 1 by 2%, her annual income increased by 1250. How much did Sandhya invest? So here the same amount was invested with period of annual income. So here time is annually calculated. So we take time as one year. So the duration of time is one year. So she has invested an amount. So let that be principal. So here the rate of interest R1 was 10% before and then it has changed to 12.5%. So obviously when there is a difference of rate of interest, so your income or interest will also change. So here and here again it is completely different. But they have given, so after increasing the rate of interest, her annual income Come was increased by 1250. So that means the difference between I2 minus I1 is 1250. Whereas the principal remains the same for both the rate of interest and time remains the same. Only thing is the income differs. So now I need to calculate how much she has invested. So here again using the formula of PTR by 100. I am taking I2. So I2 is taken under R2. So it is 12 1 by 2 percent which can also be written as 12.5 here. So therefore here if I substitute P T is 1 R is 12.5 divided by 100. And here the same principle with the same period of time but the rate of interest was 10 by 100 which is equal to 1250. So here x into 1 is same which is x. So here this becomes 12.5 x divided by 100 minus 10x divided by 100. This is equal to 1250. Now since the denominator is common, we can subtract the numerator. We get 2.5x divided by 100 is equal to 1250. 2.5x is equal to 1250 into 100 becomes 1,25,000. So when we divide x divided by the value with 2.5, we get x value as 50,000. So therefore, Sandhya invested an amount of rupees 50,000 so that when there is a change of rate of interest in her annual income was increased by 1,250. Next question, Jason invested an amount of 12,000 at the rate of 10% per annum simple interest and another amount at the rate of 20% per annum simple interest. The total interest earned at the end of an year the total amount invested became 14% per annum. Find the total amount invested. So we need to calculate the two different interest here and the total amount he invested here. So first for the amount of 12,000, let us calculate the interest I1. So that is 12,000 into, so here also the time period is considered for one year. So year one, so therefore time is one and the rate of interest charged is 10. So divided by 100, so therefore I1 is 1200. Now next we'll calculate for I2. So for I2, another amount is given. That means the principal is not given. Let us take it as X. Time period is 1 and rate of interest is 20%. So 20 divided by 100. So we'll calculate this. So here it is X by 5. So now total interest is equal to 1200 plus x by 5. Now what is the total amount invested? So total investment. So that is equal to 12,000 plus x. 
Now consider this total interest here. Now this total interest was charged under 14% per annum. So therefore, here the total interest is considered under the total investment. So this is the new principle now. So that is 12,000 plus X. So for a period of one year and a 14% rate of interest. Now total interest is nothing but 1200 plus x by 5. So 1200 plus x by 5 is equal to, so here if we multiply this, so 14 into 12,000 which becomes 168,000 plus 14x divided by 100. Now here this side we can multiply this as 6000 plus x divided by 5 is equal to 1,68,000 plus 14x divided by 100. So cross multiplying and simplifying the value of x, so this becomes 6 lakh plus 100x is equal to, so multiplying 5 here, 8 lakh 40,000 plus 70x. Now the difference will give you 100x minus 70x that is 30x is equal to 84 lakh minus 6 lakh will give you 24 lakh. Now again cancelling 0, 0. Next 3 ones are 3 eights are so 0, 0, 0. So therefore x is equal to 8000. So the amount he has invested for 20% per annum was 8,000. So therefore the total amount invested is 12,000 plus 8,000. So that is, is equal to rupees 20,000. Next question, if the difference between the simple interest at a certain sum of four years at 2.5% per annum and the simple interest on the same sum for the same period at 3% per annum is 60, find the sum. So we need to calculate the difference between of two simple interest for the same period and for the same principle, but with two different rate of interest. So let me consider this as I1 difference I2. So that is equal to 60. Now here the first one is 2.5%. So the second one is 3%. So since the amount and the time period is same, so when the rate of interest is larger, so we can write this as I2 minus I1 is equal to 60. Now what is I2? So let us take the principal as x and time is 4. The rate of is 3 divided by 100. Now here x time is 4 into 2.5 divided by 100 is equal to 60. So here this becomes 12x by 100 minus 10x by 100 is equal to 60. So if we take the difference, we'll get 2x is equal to 6,000. So x is equal to rupees 3,000. So therefore the sum is equal to rupees 3,000. Next question. Privil invested a part of 6,500 at 10% per annum annual interest and rest of it 12% annual interest. At the end of three years, he got a total amount of 8,690. How much money he has invested at different rate? So here, let X be his part of the investment in 6,500. Then the other will be obviously 6,500 X. So here X is invested at a 10% rate per annum and 6500 minus X is invested at the rate of 12% per annum. So after three years, so overall time period is given in the form of three years. So you got a total amount of 8690. So first let us calculate the interest of these two and let us see the total amount 8690, how it is related and let us find the different investments. So now here, first let us calculate I1. So I1 is equal to principal is same, time is 3 years. So X into 3 into 10 divided by 100. So which will becomes 3 by 10 X. Next let us calculate I2. I2 is 6500 
minus x into 3 into 12 divided by 100. So, this is equal to 9 divided by 25 into 6500 minus x. Now, let us calculate the total interest. So, the total amount he is investing is 6500 and the amount he got is 8690. So, to find the interest, we always subtract the principal from the amount. So, the value is equal to 2190. So, therefore, the total interest is equal to 2190 and the total interest can also be written as I1 plus I2 is equal to 2190. Now, let us solve this equation. So, I1 is 3 by 10x and I2 is 9 by 25, 6500 minus x is equal to 2190. Now, let us solve this 25 3 is a 75 x plus 10 9 is a 90. So, 19 to 6500 which becomes 5 lakh 85 thousand again minus 90 x whole divided by 250 in the denominator 2090. So, we will multiply this here. So, this becomes 5 lakh 85 thousand minus 15x. So, this is equal to after multiplying this 5 lakh 47,500. Now, taking the difference, we will get 15x is equal to 37,500. So, dividing by this, we will get x is equal to 2,500. So, what is this x? x is the amount which he has invested at 10% annual interest. So, therefore, so Privil invested rupees 2500 at 10% per annum and 6500 minus 2500 that is 4000 rupees 4000 at 12% per annum. So, the same amount is distributed as 2500 and 4000 and they are invested at 10 percent per annum and 12 percent per annum separately. Today in this session we have taken up the problems on the simple interest. I'll meet you in the next session. Until then keep watching, keep learning and keep exploring. Thank you.